Hello. All right. Welcome, everyone. Welcome yeah. back. Yes. For those of you for a keen eye for detail, notice that there's something has come between us. Yeah, yes. I know. Something is really driving us apart. <laughs> yes, so, uh, we, we are back with our dev clash, but we have the uh, the third wheel joining us here yeah. today. So who who are you? What do you do? Why are you why are you here? The Swedish third wheel, basically. Yeah. So not yeah. another Scott, because <laughs> chat's wondering. <laughs> <laughs> no, no more Scots. Uh, yeah. So my name is Victor. Now you're getting into it. <laughs> I also work in the, the marketing department and um, yeah try to ensure our revenue streams, basically. No. So I work with our uh, uh, partners and yeah. stuff like that. So to all those people who say, oh, Paradox only care about money, here you are to say, yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah. that's yes. the, only th <laughs> the only thing I care about. Yes, <laughs> you're talking to the Scotsman about money. Yes. <laughs> this sounds like oh, a God. straight up microaggression <laughs> from Paradox here. <laughs> that's nuts. I will be off to HR after this for, yeah. for yeah. counseling. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, sadly, or maybe to many, maybe to HR's relief, yes. uh, Chris and I are both not going to be here next, yes. next week. So uh, uh, For holidays, by the way, which is not that clear. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So Victor is here to uh, to I don't know. I don't know why, why are you why are you here supervise <laughs> <laughs> no I try to uh, yeah learn, learn the ropes learn because and see what you do but actually because we're going to need some hosts for yeah. next week because I'm off to Body Scotland to drink whiskey because I'm a walking caricature mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes he does whereas uh, I'll be heading off to sunny Florida so if there's uh, any Americans out there. Stay away from Florida. Yeah, know, please. Maybe, yes. that's, maybe that's just general advice. <laughs> yes, just stay away from Florida. So where do we leave off in the dev clash here? Now, uh, there was a coalition launched against Persia and Byzantium. Which could have done a bit better. Yeah, it seems to have backfired, particularly for Multan and Bahrat, who were on the front oh, line. Oh, they are peace out for yeah, peace. But, but they are in peace, right? Yeah, peace yeah. has just been made now. Has Bahrat been made a vassal? Because definitely Multan's fate was <laughs> vassalization. <laughs> well, looks like they've lost a, a little bit of land. Not a terribly large amount. But yes, the Malwa subject, I think, was lost and transferred over. Yes. Uh, so now they are a vassal of Persia, which gives Persia, you know, massive entry into India here. Now, for those of you who are keen followers of trash talking on the forum, one Johan was trash talking another Yo second Johan, <laughs> claiming that the mighty Great Britain is going to go to war with Kaiser Johan, believing that ships are the way forward. He's going to challenge Ka the Kaiser on the high seas. Mm -hmm. Now the um, the thing about here is obviously the Kaiser has a beast of an army which he's proven time and time and time again, but will he have will he have a beast of a navy? Well, no, what? Byzantine has colony in India. Someone's saying. Actually, soon there's going to be a succession war between Hungary and Great Britain. Oh, that's good. If, uh, that if great. Theodora Osmanoglu dies. How old is Theodora Osmanoglu? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, 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 that's the key part. Mm. Twenty five. All right, maybe uh, not. Too, uh, but someone said Byzantine colony in India. In chat. Uh, oh, oh well, oh. here we go. Oh, is, is that Goa? Uh, I think we're a wee bit away from Goa, but I'm sure yeah, he's, he's got his um, eye on it. It's the um, it's so, the, this it's is the how, alternative this is Goa. <laughs> yeah. Bringing back India. Mm. Well, yeah, I think this could be Bahrat's uh, cause for concern. And here we go, Byzantine units all around the area scoping out their new home. Yes. Because in the end, everywhere is a home for the Kaiser. He gets his awesome. finger in all the pies. Yeah, look. Oh. Byzantium might just attack, which they would otherwise never do. No, mm -hmm. no. I mean uh, Kaiser is known for his. Uh, well, he's, not, he's definitely someone who's who doesn't shy away from a fight. No, no but we we had people shying away from the fight last time when Ming suffered a couple of defeats. All the armies were brought back home post haste, and it, a fairly large army it is. Yeah, but if we check Ming's ideas here, yeah, he's been. We'll see, he's working on his quantity because. He just he can never have too many men. Yeah, and he's think. also going for a wee cheeky espionage idea. Yeah, I wonder what he could possibly do. It might be something to do with this spy network that he has building up in Byzantium 24-7. Yes. And, so uh, far we've already had Sabir go free. Yes, yeah, so they lost this land, which I think uh, the Groog turned around and went, Haha, I have won now. I will eat Siberia away from... Quantity as Ming people are going, yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I believe the D notes plan for any opponents to just bury them in men. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's that kind of game. Yes, basically, <laughs> said I'm never, I'm, I'm not going to be able to out micro. I'm not going to be able to out tactical. But one thing I can do is the Ming in quantity. I can just throw. There's nothing ten thousand more men won't solve. Any reason for player profiles from Arizona this week? Yes, there is a reason. Yeah, Blondie has gone off on holiday. 
and no one knows how to do the player profiles <laughs> apart from him. The thing is, he's such a master of special effects, and he blew our budget on it. Yes, so, uh, we, uh, we, we, have no, we have nothing left. Yeah. No, so, for those who are connoisseurs of dev class, notice that last week's prayer, prayer profiles were suspiciously similar to the weeks before, <laughs> and this week we decided just to go with... Yeah, just don't bother. Yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, I don't know when he's back. Well, can't be sure when he'll be back. Yes, when, well, when mean, he will, will he want to come back? <laughs> yeah. I think he's enjoying being pampered at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> So at the moment, I see we have more player war going oh, on, go. and it includes Spain and France. So who's who's starting war. this war then? We have the Byzantine reconquest of Roussillon. Here of we Roussillon. go. Okay, reconquest. Yes, he's going off to get back to his, keeping his word to his Byzantines, mm -hmm. uh, to his, his Aragonese march here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's bringing... Yeah, because Aragon have plenty of cores uh -huh. that are not going to be going away here. Because so he's now, not uh, culture flipped them. Yeah, so it looks like Spain, he was half drilled his armies and he has his backup with France. Previously, when they've had to fight against Byzantium, hasn't gone all that well. Could, could have gone better. The numbers don't look very good for them. Sweden is on their side now. Sweden has just been yo-yoing on their Sweden side Sweden is on here. side here. How about Great Britain? Are they in this war? Yeah, so Great Britain don't look like they're getting involved. He's right? dishonoured. Ooh, looks like it. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, truce to Spain. So he said, nah, you know what, it's not worth my time. So having done all this smack talk to the Kaiser, going, I'm going to bring the fight and all these kind of things, he then dishonoured. No, I think I've got it. Perhaps he wants the honour of fighting in his own war. So ah. he will declare his own war, perhaps even with the best CB. You Kaiser against... Johan, better ally than classic Johan. <laughs> 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 oh, or vanilla Johan, yes. You want being Johan, yeah. EU4, shame of Britannia. <laughs> 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 Typical Johan. Yes. Okay. Grugi is in the war, people are saying. Yeah, so it seems, well, we can just click on Byzantium and look at basically who are they at war with here. Well, and the answer is. Can well, we have a kind of not a war map mode that might actually well, help with Byzantium? <laughs> yeah, you know. Hasn't really helped to even out the numbers, but what's happening so over this is in... going on? And... Yes, this oh, is. Yes. <laughs> chess in some more dimensions than mm. you can possibly imagine. It seems like Ooh. Byzantium, I'm not sure if this is focusing on uh, the uh, Transoxania. I, I, I don't think 30k really counts as is Grugi focus. In no, as well? but Grugi can't really respond to nope. that very well themselves. Grugi is allied with France and Spain and Multan, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. They're also a uh, Tribute. tributary to the Ming, but the Ming won't Sabir be. Sabir has joined in. Oh, they, they've started their own war against Sabir. Yeah, they've attacked. Oh. So, I mean, say what you want about Grugi, he picks his battles. Yes. He, he goes, well, you know, this war isn't working. That's how you circumvent the warning. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you haven't really circumvented it because you are at war with the Byzantines <laughs> anyway. So that, that's, <laughs> This was merely the second step in his major plan. Yes, but that was definitely chess on so many levels. <laughs> I guess yeah, someone says you and learn from Churchill that fighting in Gallipoli is a bad idea. Well, I don't think he's got enough Australians to do a fight in Gallipoli at the moment, uh, does, but we'll keep you posted. Does anybody have the Australians? Uh, no. No, no, not no. yet. It looks empty. No, they haven't even discovered all of Australia, so uh -huh. poor show. Who'd want to? Oh, well, <laughs> there's the question. Okay, so uh, Transoxania is moving in on Siberia with little threat from the Kaiser right now. But where are the Kaiser armies? Is he marching straight into the heart of... Uh, we don't know. Where no, is well, what is he doing? We don't know. I think he's still marching his army. He's attacking the Yemen campaign. first. Oh, yeah, well, man. Well, yeah. It's like, I'm going to be at war with everyone anyway. Let's yeah, just, just get it yeah, over Just one enemy at a time, boys. Yeah. Was like... So I guess he's carving them up first. Feels bad, bad. Dot us or tears. <laughs> he can't declare war. Or if he's already at war. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so Fido's down in the Congo, the mighty Congo, mm. right? Yeah, he's still there. I uh, don't know what he's been up to though. Well, he was he wasn't he sick last week, so he's uh, he's still out in Mali, but he doesn't seem to get involved with the international affairs. No, I think he's just chilling after. He's rather. And, and then, I think he's still traumatized on his brief week in Milan. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then there's the Hunan, who yes, uh, we, Star we Who, don't, yes. We, we don't really know what he's been up to. What's his major plan here? Died. <laughs> 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 oh, has oh, Johan entered the war on his own? Johan has indeed started oh. his own war. Conquest of Maracaibo. Now this is a this is a this is going to be a tough one here because he's that's how that's over in um, America. Yeah, where, where is the Maraca? Yeah, go go over to uh, North America. It, it's, Mar it's it's in South America. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. So you can you can see it here. <clears throat> Maracaibo. There we go. Aha. Right. There we go. He's now take his. Well, I assume he's going to take it with his. Yeah, and then the here. war score ticks. Yep. Yes, and uh, what response can the Kaiser really have against yes, that? Yes, and he'll start ticking. 
and then the, he, he'll, he'll I mean, yeah. once he's, yeah, he'll he's get gonna... about twenty percent from that. Yeah, he'll get the war score from there, and then he can just see taunt, what... taunt the Kaiser from yes. the seas. Well, then the thing is, can he then push it far and high enough well, he to would... suddenly start stab hitting for a piece that's going to hurt him? He'd have the freedom to start taking over the islands and uh, his march. Yes. So as long as he can get that done, then... Uh... I mean, can, with, with some blockades mm -hmm. as well, how high could he push that war score? Uh, His first, uh, Did anything extreme happen in the first 10 minutes? It depends if <laughs> someone wants to know. Depends on your definition of extreme. No, yes. peace, was, peace was signed and then peace didn't sell, so yes. war has resumed. Yes, Kaiser Johan declared war. We'll keep you posted on that one, right? You, know. you, have, a, you have a question there? You were poking in. Yeah, I was uh, looking at into Fest troops' movements in the. Well, Fez is an AI, crack AI unit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Fez is subject to the yeah. Spain, and I swear they've been integrating Fez. forever. Yes. In fact, did that stop and restart? Because uh, I, I thought they, I thought they'd almost done this last time. Will the Kaiser fall this class? Who knows? Meanwhile, in Austria, nothing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. For Austria, yes. Austria is playing the long game. Well, it's, well, it's playing, you know, playing something. Yes, we don't know. Did they always have all this land? No, uh, but they, um, they, they, was, I believe that France was forced to release it. And then Austria hoovered it up. Yeah, so France did not clean it back up, and now they, they're getting they're getting stressed. Uh, no, so Katz has just confirmed that integrating Fez is just going to take forever. Oh, but, okay. But yeah, how, how many reforms has Austria got? How, how far away is he from vassal swarm? So the ultimate Greyskin comes at revoking the uh, the privilege, and he only needs two more reforms. Yes. He was having trouble with this one because the the electors and the princes just didn't want to pass it. But he is making progress here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> HRE always inherited, so you wouldn't even have to care about who votes for him once yeah. he uh, proclaims Erb Kaiser to him. I think uh, I think Johan lays claim to anything called Kaiser in it. Well, which Johan? Mm. But yeah, we well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see which uh, Johan wins in the clash yes. of the two. Yes, but yeah, we have our the ultimate smack talk. Mm -hmm. Now, do we have any battles ongoing at the moment? This isn't really a well, battle. Oh my goodness me, that's well, that's more troops in Grugge can is how possibly you, imagine. This is how you circumvent, right? So. This is how you circumvent someone circumventing a guarantee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so now Persia Persia has been tasked with uh, conquering... Southern Trex Transoxania. Mm -hmm. Has any of that Persian core, by the way? Uh, I don't believe so, but I don't believe a lot of mm -hmm. things. They have some claims here. Are those permanent claims? Mm -hmm. Yes, because yes. they formed Persia, giving yes. them uh, permanent So that'll be, that'll be probably something that Persia will be interested in. Oh, Fez. Fez. Fez has been sent packing. Oh, man, looks still have a bit of land here. Well, <laughs> not for long. Not for much longer, yes. heavens no. So what, what are France and Spain doing? I think they're just... They're waiting. They're, they're, they're ticking at the moment. Yeah, they're just saying defend the homeland. Yeah, so well, yeah all, they, all they have to do is defend Rousselon. Yes. But that means they're going to need a navy to protect uh, the Strait of Gibraltar, and they don't seem to have much dedicated to that. Can well, they beat depends. the Kaiser on the seas? Well, I mean, oh, jinx. Yeah. When Spain and France together have one heavy ship. <laughs> well, check naval battles. They've lost 18 ships in combat. Oh, whoa. Okay, yeah, so they lost out there. 30. Ooh. An Aragon fleet with six ships engaged a Spanish fleet with well, that was 38. A, that oh, that was, they, they won that. That was though. a white okay. win, though. I'm just assuming everything was a loss, but no, no, they have won a couple of encounters. And including lost... this 24,000 Swedish steel engaged yes. with the Hungarians. And oh, are they going oh, to try it again? Oh. No. Uh, yeah, he's well, going back he's in. He's going for it. Yes, but he believes. Yes. He has Tech 15, which is a big one. Uh, Hungary only have 14, so that's where they get their advantage. But Byzantine do have take 15. Yeah, he's not going to feel that advantage over but the But he's got no leader. Yeah, the Byzantines lack a leader and they're in forest, so perhaps, perhaps I think it's he just... can pull something out here. Oh, he's going to need no, some he needs better. a better dice roll. Oh, that's a... Yeah. The luck, oh, well... The luck gods just seem to hate Forza. No. I don't know what he's done. Well... Mm. <laughs> 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 France and Sweden are co-belligerents, I believe. Are they co-belligerents? Uh, who was that? France and uh, Sweden. Sweden. Uh, uh, mm, good question. So, if we look at Byzantium, he declared war on Spain. And yes, he made France a co-belligerent. And Sweden oh. as well. Yeah. Yes, so he, oh, wants right. to, he wants to He wants to drink, dig deep and greedily. I imagine he wants to give Finland to Hungary. I mean, they're, they're, they're kind of linked, I'm told, in some way. Yes. <laughs> they both can't be understood. Yeah. Uh, who else... You know, if we have France in, well, who's going to eat from France? The Papal State aren't in this. Although, I wonder if Austria and the Pope in Bohemia are going to do some more uh, more underhanded things against the French and, Sp uh, French and Spanish. I don't know. 
Mm -hmm. It's a shame Sweden does not have allies. Oh, wait. <laughs> Sweden does have allies. Well, that's, that's normally a crack pair of allies, but mm -hmm. today, well... Funnel will get restoration, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, we we shipped in that little new formable nation of uh, Finno Ugaria, yeah. yes. Less not uh, not really well known in the history books. No, well, so you got to go to the, well. Wait a minute, if you go go into the Mediterranean here, if, if you see there is a British fleet. Yeah, here we go. Keeping keeping the peace and also making sure that keeping the Byzantines away from the Eastern Med. So they were one island's fallen, Balearics have fallen. Yeah, there we go. That's down. Now they got war. positive war score against the Kaiser, which does not happen often. No, as you saw here mm -hmm. first. And mm -hmm. now he's sieging down Sardinia, and uh, Sarkuzai will be, well, yeah. probably next on the list if he can actually get in there and take care of it. Yeah, but he's got to close that straight, which means he's got to land at Miss Messina. Yeah, he's got to take, take this that fort. fort quickly. It's not a very good fort though. It's just a just a level two fort. Does he actually have a? Um, does he have how many, how many cannon is he bringing? Uh, he's bringing a modest amount of cannons. That's enough to, to yeah. bring the fort down. Mm -hmm. uh, not a very good leader, but all he has to do is defeat the Aragonese, who, and well, they're on tech. Tw How are they on tech twelve? Well, well, they, they've he's been on under tech fourteen. So <laughs> yes, <laughs> tech four, tech fifteen is the main one, though. We'll see yeah. what happens. So they're, they're just drilling. The pope is the sitting there, shoot, yeah. doing hunting there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Water barians. Nice. Uh, Yes. Yeah, so Byzantium just oh, oh carving up poor Grug. Yes, this is chess on levels mm, you would not believe. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen chess that you can't believe. <laughs> okay, somebody was asking about the victory cards. We have the power to check that out. Uh, so scattered all across the ways, but Byzantium themselves, they have it. Well, they've already got their Mamlukian ones, but they have one on Persia. Yes, yeah, so have had for a long time. Yeah. Uh, same same setup that there always has been around here. Although did uh, that's uh, that's one for the Pope there. Yeah, did the Pope always have this? No. Yeah, yeah, it's a thousand. Yeah, oh. this is first one. Yeah, and they've got one in Austria as well. We'll see what the Pope can make of that. Yes. And oh. then the, the good old uh, Duplo versus uh, yes. sidestep. Yes, having we're, cards we're, cards on each other. We're, we're looking forward to that to be the final final battle. Mm -hmm. Got to hand it to Bohemia. He's played a real low, uh, like low key game. No one's paying him that much attention. But look at all the land he's swallowed up. Oh. Pretty rich HRE land, and he just he just took it. Yeah. And I'm not saying I gave him great advice. But, on how but to I think do there it, might be a bit of Steve sniping when he someone suggested he should vassalize <laughs> Brandenburg and feed and then annex, and then all of a sudden he did just that. Mm -hmm. What a coincidence! So we have some uh, fan facts coming in from Stereo Sar saying, breaking news, 30,000 Swiss guard depopulating the forests around Rome. Massive, massive hunting <laughs> maneuvers. Can the Pope form Italy? The Pope can do better than form Italy. He can form the kingdom of God. Yes. Yes, he can. Oh, there we are. He's, okay, so he's working yeah. on it, and with that amount of cannons... This, and he's breached. This should take no time at all, and that navy is And just... once he's breached, once, he's, once he holds that, that, that strait will be closed, yeah, won't it? Won't, uh, the Kaiser will not be... No, no enemies will be able to cross this strait unless they're able to... Uh, Defeat that dis fleet. Dislodge this, and nobody is dislodging And they've got nine that. Fez galleys there, so there'll be no messing. Not only that, that's one of the best, uh, best admirals I've ever seen in the game. It's a 5-4-4. Let's see pretty, that. pretty hard to get good uh, good admirals. So there we go. Five fire, four shock, four maneuver. Call and him. there we go. That's Messina down, down and Akbar out. Akbar there. <laughs> <laughs> but what's what's the Kaiser going to do? Because the he, Kaiser has gone east, but now his army's are returning. Troop, the troops mm -hmm. are moving west, right? Yes, I think he's. Um, I just, think he's decided that Grugi is. <laughs> Get him over, man! Well, has he even engaged with Grugi yet? I mean, no. here's the Grug army. We can uh, we can even look to see have. Have the trans -ox. I can see no, it. No, no, no engagements. I see, I see yeah, a couple one, there. One. There's one there. there. One. Ah, here we go. Uh, well, mm, yeah. mm, he can do better. <laughs> yes, has. Ah, but he's got another army. Yes. Moving in, perhaps he's just lulling the Kaiser into a false sense oh, of security. Oh, here comes the Persians, though. Yeah. Uh, looks like they're going to uh, mm. sandwich in there. But here comes the reinforcements. If he can just goad them into that attack, Five he might be able to make something of it. Oh, but he's only got tech 14. That's just not good enough. Means he's missing out on large amounts of morale and tactics, and that's really going to make the difference in his battle. Almost as much as that Byzantine general who's oh just... Oh, my goodness. Cleaning I'm up. I'm melting. Yes. Oh, oh, and in come the Persians. Yes. They're blotting out the sun. Oh, no, no. 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 
this part of the plan perhaps did not go Maybe. to plan. Is the D note ready to rejoin the war yeah, or do something? So the D note's just kind of sitting there chilling, What's his... recuperating his losses and and what a lot of losses they are. And the chat oh, no, is wait. already uh, paying its respects. Yes. Yeah. But so uh, I just saw a Byzantine peace offer yeah, come in there. Like, well, I'm but, guessing that's for the Grugi. Yeah, <laughs> most likely we'll see one just just three provinces. That's not a lot. Yeah, that's a very light getting off lightly mm -hmm. there if ever I've seen one. Yeah. Oh, and he's relentless. He keeps putting in this... Uh, yes, he's eliminating them one by one. Mm -hmm. I could have sworn Grugi had an army of heroes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, is. the Fs and the RIPs are coming in there mm -hmm. for the Grug. Mm -hmm. The Orthodox Zealots of Siberia are uh, are quite militant here, taken over. Although converted to, uh, to Kaiser's religion as well, so it kind of works out for him. <laughs> Otherwise, though, you know, France and Spain just playing the defensive game. They do get war score just by the... Just by the Where's, where's the Spanish bonus. armies going? If the Spanish armies, oh, there we are. Spain is on the attack. Ah, right. Now right. It's, it's gone badly before oh. when they've attacked. Yes, but they're united the together well. and they're uh -huh. kind of thinking that the that um, Austria will not give them access this time. Mm, well, hope. Mm, hoping. They can hope. Yes. But now, they also don't have to fight against Menath this time. Menath yeah. was a very accomplished player that stood in uh, last time. Yes, so yes, the, the substitute. Do we have his? Do we have that fan fact there? Mm. The mammoth as the substitute. That's a. It was a beaut that one. Mm. Grugi's just having strong. He's trying to create PTSD for the Kaiser's troops. <laughs> <laughs> now this could work well if they if they okay, so Japan to Sicily. actually blockade these as well to help along with sieges. Well, the other thing here is Yuan um, can just start the same. Uh, yeah, he can pick off the islands. There's there's no. Uh... Nothing else. Lost only 15 dev. That's practically a win, right? Yes. Well, it's not. Okay. Oh, but he got, he got <laughs> this land cut oh, off. Oh, border. What, is, what is it with this? Pizzicato is uh, embracing the border gore Is ways. Prussian Iceland still in existence? Can we check? Um, no, it's British uh, Iceland. British, uh, hmm. Oh, well, they're, they're, they're allied with Prussia. Where is Prussia, anyway? Bored home. Ah. <laughs> Bored home. Well, dig in deep, lads. Comeback is on. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the, the British don't have the largest numbers on their sides, neither do the French and Spanish together, and the Swedes are getting carved up. Yeah, but... And this is just the Hungarian side. Sweden and the other Western powers are most happy to pay the price <laughs> for Grugi's expansion. Because yeah. he was gloating about how now he's gaining... He's gained 40 development from consuming Siberia. Has he vassaled that? He has vassalized that. Oh, there we go. There's chess for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How and many he, dimensions? Well, I think he plans to feed them Siberia's old cores, which is in his own country. It's ah. an advanced technique. Okay, so, you know. He's now dealing with some rebels. Mm -hmm. Well, some. Yeah, Afghanistan's still on the map. How, how they continue to exist is beyond me. But exist, they do. All right, now. Oh, wait a minute. I see some uh, some French and Spanish being forced to retreat here. Okay, let's see. By the arrival of the Kaiser on the scene. Yes, that's a uh, Kaiser. Oh, but the, the French are lacking in military technology. And how about, how, and how that, about Spain? And that, that's going to hurt them quite a bit. They've, they've been lacking in ideas as well. Spain's up to date with 15. Uh, they have defensive and, and some quality. Oh, they are. But now, now the Kaiser is pushing back. Yes. Kaiser strikes back. Mm -hmm. oh, it's in a hit film near you. Yes. Now he's marching round there. Oh, yeah, but that's because... Now, here's something. What's the forts there at the Bosporus? Right, so we still okay, have so... some kind of outdated forts on this side. No forts on this side. So if they were able to secure these two provinces or these two provinces, a naval blockade would cut him off. Well, it's well, some... at least have to take the scenic route. so far as this, yeah. you have to take the scenic route. But at least then you can dance back and forth across. All right, now there are the Br me. British fleets breaking up for blockades. Mm -hmm. So what's the um, well? How much war score is he now getting from those blockades? Well, Byzantium is losing to Britain by minus twenty five percent, and they don't even have the ticking war score. If we look from the British point of view, yeah, they they've got uh, well nothing from the battles really. Eighteen from the the war goal. And everything else is being made up by occupations and blockades. So yeah. a fair amount. I mean, the blockades individually aren't going to be worth much, but if he can split up enough to do the whole shebang, then that's going to be pressure on the Byzants. Yeah, what's I mean, so he'll start ticking war exhaustion from these blockades yes, as well, he, won't he? Yes, he will. I think he has some things to reduce that, which might make it a bit more tricky. But there we go. 
Mm. So He's defend, defend. defender of the faith is currently cutting the mustard and keeping it at bay. But uh, no, no, they are. It's climbing yeah. from attrition, though. Yes, it is. So, wonder where is he going to go now? Is he going oh, to? Oh, there's oh, Aragon. What? How did Aragon get there? Did the uh, did the Austrians and the Papals give military access? I wonder. So they grant military access to Byzantium, and the well Byzantium, yeah. and that's the main that's the main thing, which means everybody in the war gets the access. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now Byzantium can and will traipse their way. Taking the traditional off, yeah. route of over the Alps <laughs> yeah. so into the, Gaul. So the esteemed Starnan is, uh, well, he's certainly he's, he's playing the Starnan game, which we yeah. don't know what. We're not sure what it is. <laughs> but he is. <laughs> and chat is saying it's unofficial allies. Yeah, well, that's definitely been alleged by mm -hmm. some certain amount of salt. Mm -hmm. Where are the, the, the French troops? Where well, the French they? troops were routed in North Africa. Yeah. Still? Well, yeah, uh, well, they're, they are they're marching back. Yeah, okay. I think they've sensed the danger yeah, here. Yes, they've analysed the attack plan. Notes and that there could be a danger. I think the Pope's little hunting expedition has moved over here um, to uh, He might have Navarra. two hunting expeditions. Uh, well, yeah, he uh, does. there we go. Yes. There we go. Nonetheless, he has his eyes on the situation here. Mm -hmm. uh, Austria not doing that. I don't know what the Austrians are up to. Uh, he has Cassus Belli on, well, you name it, but he has the imperial ban on France. Yeah. As well as excommunication on France, so... Well, it's the Pope still excommunicating France, isn't that? Well, it's a bit nasty, yes, mm -hmm. but, it's you know, if the French would just stop <laughs> being so blasphemous, it wouldn't yeah. be a problem. So, yes, the French have a big problem in terms of technology if they can't get Miltech 15. How far he, are we he, are He's they? focusing on it, it's his only advisor. Ooh, that's it's rough stuff if he only has the one. But the French, French are still in debt. Fort Defence plus two, though, is probably a good... Fort Defence, uh, 20%. Yeah, probably, they yeah. are Ope. Synergize as well with them. Okay, oh. so the French have just told the Aragonese where to go. And there's the thing, the military access works both ways. So the French yeah. are on the attack, oh. probably suddenly going, <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe not the best idea. Oh, uh, no, but they, 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 they caught the Kaiser napping. No, no. Yes, they have. Uh, perhaps, but the Kaiser are still a dangerous opponent there with an incredible leader. And, again, the technology advantage. Yeah, but he's so. just... I was saying a little snipe there by mm -hmm. the by the Trin Tragulier. He might be rather pleased with his, his himself. Yeah, which means positive war score right here for uh, for the defenders. They've lost a fair bit from battles, but they have maximum from actually owning and holding on to what was it, Rousselon? Brit the British, the British army. army. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, does he manage to defeat the British somewhere? Uh, he may have found and routed the British here because I recall watching them land here. Well, wait, um, let's see. As he as he stack wiped them. Well, we have a way of seeing... Here we go. So, Ooh. yes, the British, they won one engagement. They lost... An, no, uh, other way around. The Byzantines crushed the British here. Yes. And uh, perhaps Five the Five-war score there. Yeah. Where's his army? He's lost 20,000 casualties. Yeah. What's happened to oh. his... The British army has been reduced to the expeditionary force in South America and the other expeditionary <laughs> force in South America. So he's stack wiped the British so army. So the, the British Isles are open to anarchy. There is nobody there. Anarchy in the UK, yes. Nah, that won't catch on. Nah, never. Uh, <laughs> there wouldn't be any panic in the streets of London. Or, no. or are we going to get in trouble for saying that? I don't know. Never. <laughs> we have some AI wars in the eastern parts of the world, as you can see. Uh, Ming and Japan. Uh, here we go. So Ming, mm. what? Ming and Korea uh, at war. So Korea's going down. And the emperor protects. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Does that mean so? Bjorn, Bjorn's still in, right? He, yep. there, there we go. He's been chilling as Japan, uh, noticeably absent in the Indian wars earlier. Uh, does that mean he's going to get another bite out of Never Korea? Never another Gallipoli. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I think a yeah, mistake by Ryuan should only occupy islands. I think he was trying to grab the islands, but... Mm -hmm. But perhaps he got a bit uh, sure of himself and started landing. No, I think he was landing at the islands with connections, going if he can grab them quickly. Mm, possibly. Where were those battles happening then? At An Antia? Atina? So that Atina. was Athens. Ah, yes, right here, yep. It was chaos in Athens and... Palermo. Palermo. But that uh, Palermo was over here where he crushed the... In Palermo. So, yes, this is where the uh, the Brits got routed. Yeah, I think he was trying to... Oh, you can sail the seven seas in. Yeah, I think he was trying to get round and take the other island and was caught by the Kaiser. Mm -hmm. The only good thing was it allowed France to ninja their way into Milan and, and, and stack wipe Yeah, the... but here we go. Now the Kaiser is back in full force. Well, two, two full forces. He has plenty more in the reserves. Uh, whilst... 
France endures more debt, more lack of manpower, and where is Spain? Well, Spain, Spain's just sitting here. Do you want a geography the lesson here? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody please tell me yes. where in the world is. Uh... Right, and Portugal again, just sitting, chilling, apparently spreading the welfare, but we, we don't know. Where? Yeah, we don't know why. Yes. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh well, oh, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Now we're talking. So yeah, they've decided that they're going to see a kinder, two... more sensitive Australia now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who would believe? Uh, Portugal six six six. Did six 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 lead them? Was there? Oh, oh well, my goodness! Oh, damn, damn. Queen, Queen uh, Joanna. Joanna. Impressive. Yes, Bride of Satan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In fact, uh, Joanna, Anna, sounds like a bit of a rename on our previous devil. This is, uh, this is another advertisement for the tourist industry of uh, Portugal. Come here, become it. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah. Valfad. Yes. Uh, how, how do you actually say that? Uh, Valfad. Sounds like well fed, which I guess is part of Oh, there we of, go. Uh, you think about well fed, maybe. Yeah. Oh, they were, they were about to move in, but then decided better of it. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, well. Ooh. Oh, oh. Everybody's probing each other about what's going to happen here. Oh, matron. <laughs> <laughs> what happens oh, in... I see. Yes, I <laughs> what happens in southern France... Yes, yeah, stays. Stays, <laughs> and stays stuff. in southern <laughs> France. Yes. Oh, but, but my, you know, I fancy the odds of... Uh... Yeah, he's, 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 he's not far from Roussillon now. Yeah. There's how many forts? There's one at... Um... Still hasn't got his tech. He needs to delay for about a year. Yeah. yeah but, oh, they're going... Oh. I think they're just moving in, keeping an eye on this, because the, the Kaiser has such incredible generals from his constant warfare. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, is, this is a Trin and Katz working together. And, yeah. oh, that could be the problem, that uh, France is spending their mill points on, uh, yeah. on uh, war taxes yes. instead of actually getting the vital tech they need to win. Because he won't be winning any engagements with tech like that, the French. It says Britain managed to raise a new army, though. That's uh... That might be asking quite... Oh, here we go. The 15th Army is on the... Well, not quite March. But it's on the, it's on the move. It's on their way, on their way to Cyprus. Oh, An island he's, somewhere he's, near you. He's, he's winning... He's working on winning something. Yes. Minus 81 prestige notices chat. So yeah, excommunication though. That's what's murdering him. Yeah, France is not the most prestigious place in the world right no. now. Uh, compare that to Byzantium, which well, he's not very legitimate. Hmm. No. What happened here though? Oh, the Regency oh. Council is uh, what? No, no uh, consort either. So the uh, the Kaiser can't actually declare any wars for eight years. <laughs> which, which, which I don't which know. Which is why he's <laughs> probably going to milk this war for yes. everything he can. <laughs> Did, um, did the Sweden part of the war end, by the way? I think Sweden is about to end. Oh no, the Forza is still mm, there. Yeah, yeah, he's hanging on. He's he's a nail house, is our Forza. Yes. Um, well, it's a Byzantine army there. Oh, Hungarian uh, troops there. Some Hungarians, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, the Kaiser has picked his friends well. Even though he did pick at Persia quite mercilessly early on, <laughs> he extended the olive branch. And Hungary has just, just been a very uh, symbiotic relationship, I believe. Yeah, they so it's sidestep. They actually sit opposite. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we are, battle! Oh, oh, right, they have engaged. And oh, oh it's a slaughter. Yeah, the French are just being routed here. They don't have the anything to sustain this. This it was a slaughter. They don't have the numbers, they don't have the. the tech, they don't have no, anything. No. Check Sweden's stability. People are saying minus one stab. What's the war score for yeah, that? Yeah, minus one. Uh, the. Their own war score is minus 29. So he can't be stab hit out. No, not yet. I mean, they've pushed quite hard, but how far have they gone into Sweden? Where is ah, it? they moved their capital to Gotland. Oh, right? that's going to be a yes. Can't touch <laughs> Come this. Come and have a go. Doom, yeah. doom, doom, doom. So all, can't touch this. <laughs> that's the thing where like all the major players of the time frame are going to be moved to Ireland. So and then Stana will probably take your capital, Gotland. which is what he does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Okay, so now... And people now are finding it rather amusing that Finland is, in fact, Swedish Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's too real, actually. It's, uh, yeah. throwing, throwing it down. Yes. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's no nice way to put it in Finland. Okay, it started in the chat with the Ave, Ave. Um, Neil Barbarians, yes. War score will be to demand re uh, release Gotland. I'll be very impressed if that could happen. Also, they're putting their Swedish steel to the test once again. Bad. He's got a lot of good stuff going for him, but just not in. What? Oh, it just needs a good dice roll. Oh, a nine! Oh, oh just, just a little too little and a little too late. And Ooh. now, oh, but the, the Kaiser is deciding to, to have an after dinner mint. 
against the Swedish nobility. Yeah, well, oh, very you know. Danish. Yes, oh, delightfully oh, yes. Danish. Yes, and it's like the Ferrero Rocher yeah. of their. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Hungary's just keeping keeping Swedish the occupations, Russia, yeah. AKA Finland. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we apologise to our vast Finnish fan base. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> We're saying that uh, We're not Russia th is yours, not that you are Russia. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and to our Russian fan base, Finland is yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's a win-win. <laughs> <laughs> to our Russian fan base, uh, the Hearts Fire and Force streams are another day. Yes. Oh, the manpower is down. Yeah, yeah the man tapped. manpower situation for France is grim. Similar situation for Spain. Byzantium. Whoa, Byzantium he's is getting tapped. Tapped. What's his war exhaustion doing? Because I know these... Um, yeah, it's, it's climbing. It's slowly, but we yeah, do. Yeah, but I mean, you know, it's climbing for quite a oh, few countries. Oh, here we go, countries. battle coming in at Roussillon. Uh -huh. Well, Roussillon is the key area, and it's hilly, so defenders get the advantage here. Also, the Spaniards have some really nice bonus from their age, but it's but not enough. But they just enough. not get good dice rolls there, though. No, no. However, the, the French decided Did to... They, they, it was a solid oh. move. They actually cut off the reinforcements. Yes, however, it was just loss on both sides. It just wasn't a good... Just He just got some poor dice rolls yeah. there, France. The odds were pretty good. Yeah, and here's the thing. Those uh, those Spanish soldiers, those tertios, you want them on the front line because they take much less shock damage. The water barbarians are back, someone says. <laughs> <laughs> I believe side Cyprus has fallen. What happens down here? Yeah. Insane. Yeah, 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 here we go. Cyprus oh. is down. Fez, Fez continuing its attack. There we go. And now Great Britain, yeah, he's just picking off islands left and right. Yep. But hey, with, uh, with the Kaiser so far away, if he's not uh, completely jostled, he could start occupying quite a bit of land here. Yeah, he could cut the... Um... Drugi is saying Austria. Oh! oh! Austria is attacker against France. Oh my goodness me, Starnan, of course. No cooperation. No. No, the uh, the Starnan has gone for it once again, deciding that, you know, now now that his target has been softened up, it's time Star to activate Nan, no the Starnan. <laughs> yes. Although now France finally has tech. Starnan brings the fight at last. Yeah. <laughs> Other people going what? star what? and why? <laughs> Activate it. <laughs> Although another question is, did he? Okay, I'll, I'll the eagle has two faces. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, that was harsh. <laughs> people are noticing. Good the, job, star and France doesn't deserve France. Oh, people dear. are noticing some morale. Yeah, the Byzantines have pretty crazy morale. The French Not. should, but don't. Less so. And yeah, that's just the carving up. And Austria feels that France and Spain was winning too hard. They needed to balance the war, I assume. Yes. austro byzantine alliance continues to bear fruits for some. <laughs> oh, I know, it was sad. Oh, my. And uh, we have Nathan Westbroom in the chat saying, Can't wait till the Kaiser backstabs the Star Nan. Well, that, that would be the backstab of the century. Yeah, well, I was assuming Star Nan doesn't backstab first. Yes. Well. <laughs> Would he have the capacity to, I wonder? Oh, I could, think... Could Bohemia, Austria and the Papal State take on Hungary, Byzantium and Persia? I think they could. It would just be uh, tricky. Yes. <laughs> and also, could they do it without having France and Spain think, OK, Austria, how do you like a taste of this? Well, that's, I think, the big mistake Austria's made, is that if he wants his final showdown with the Kaiser to settle who is the greatest, hmm. he is guaranteed that he's going to have to protect his rear. Yes. Pardon the expression. <laughs> yes. There's quite a lot of exposed as well. The Byzantines could... Uh... Is Austria invading into Sweden as well? Uh, that looks like Austrian occupations to me. Yes, he's pieced out. Austria waited until Sweden was pieced out. So has he made Sweden a co-belligerent here? I, I wonder, because Sweden still have the same allies as before. They're also... Oh man, even uh, even the Norwegians are taking this opportunity to fight the Swedes. Uh, so what do we have here? France, Spain, Sweden, all co-belligerents. And so Transoxania as well, don't forget about that one. He's <laughs> hungry. Uh, but Transoxania is not a Viborg is now Hungarian, people point out too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. 
If France and Spain attack Austria for revenge, the Kaiser will just attack them as an easy conquest while they're in another war. The Western Alliance is dead. Well, a lot of people were talking about the dangers of the Western Alliance, especially Byzantium, mm -hmm. uh, and yet... Yes, you know, Benji, you've got to say, the Kaiser has made a, um, a you know, weak, I'm so weak propaganda into an art form mm -hmm. as he conquers three quarters of the globe, but <laughs> no, I'm so weak. He's still the underdog. Yes. You have to understand. Yes. Lord of the Three Mountains. Mm -hmm. people, people are asking if Hungary yeah. got anything. Well, he definitely like got. It, right? Definitely got. He, yeah. he got a province. Yes, he got. Niboru. Viperu. Yeah, I was expecting a bit more of an exchange there. Perhaps even the release of Gotland, but no, didn't didn't happen. <laughs> However, they now hold Rusalon. Yes. And that means no more positive war score for the defenders. In fact, significant negative war score for the defenders here. Are, you, Are you saying Byzantine used me and France as a deflection tool to make people not look at their at his explosive growth? I believe he tried. Hmm. 